What's up, everyone? I'm here in San Francisco at the Fisherman's Wharf, and I'm going to be walking all the way along the Embarcadero to the ferry building. The Fisherman's Wharf gets its name because it was the site of many Italian immigrants who came here to settle to take advantage of the gold rush. Many of them established fisheries in the area, and that's why it's Fisherman's Wharf. I record this video on Monday, May 22nd, 2023. It's about 7 o'clock p.m. and it's 58 Fahrenheit, 15 Celsius. Although this area isn't much of a fishing industry now, it is a popular tourist attraction, as we're going to see. There's a big sign, Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco. I'm sure these seagulls are hoping that this is still a big fishing area. We're going to be seeing famous sites such as Pier 39, which is famous for its sea line viewing area. And also the end of High Street, which is where the uh, cable car makes its turn. There's actually a streetcar line which runs through here. You can see the uh, San Francisco Muni running old streetcars. It's kind of cool that they uh, keep their history. I think it's down that way to the left, yeah. Thank you so much. It keeps moving. It says it's 10 minutes away. Oh, 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh. You need to go uh, left on Larkin Street. Thank you. Okay. Very it's the one after Hyde Street. Okay. Okay. I don't think I'll be headed to the uh, Gilar Deli Square, but we'll be able to see the sign for it. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. Keep changing where it is. Yeah. You can see all the uh, boats here for Fisherman's Wharf. You can tell there's a big tourist area because of all the souvenir shops, cable car souvenirs. There you can see an old streetcar, which is still running and operational. Birmingham Electric. And beyond that, there's a green one, or two green ones. Really need to see these still wor uh, working.
Here's the famous In-N-Out Burger. Technically the only one in the uh, vicinity of San Francisco City, but there are many in the Bay Area. And because of that, this one is the uh, probably the most popular restaurant here. I see there's a line already for In-N-Out. Giardelli Square, six minutes straight. And the High Street Pier is two minutes. That's where I'm headed to, the High Street Pier. And then I'll be turning around. Here's a popular seafood restaurant, Kapuros, selling fresh fish since 1946. There's a federal park here, the Maritime National Historic Park. And just beyond that is Giardelli Square. You should be able to see the Giardelli building in the back. Right there. There's the historic High Street Pier. Just closed right now. And there is the Hyde Street cable car. All the way in the distance. Iconic of San Francisco that they keep those running. Well, let's cross the street now. We'll head along the Embarcadero. Ferry building. Ben and Jerry's. This is by far the most touristy part of San Francisco. Fisherman's Wharf, Embarcadero, Pier 39. The best ice cream in San Francisco. Yeah, I'm gonna say, we're gonna be a couple of 
Chapinos. I like how they put the end sign here at the end of the street since we're right by the water. I like how they have the mural there showing the wharf store is in two parts. One over here in the corner and another one mid-block. Crepe Cafe. They're busy making some crepes now. See how busy In N Out Burger is. Their starting pay is $22 an hour. Yep, still a line for In N Out Burger. California City Wear, $20 for a hoodie. I don't think these streetcars started moving yet. At least it doesn't seem that way. Oh my gosh, look at these t-shirt designs. I'm not arguing, I'm explaining why I'm right. I pooped today, holy shit. Factory, Hawaii's original pearl in the oyster. like the sign, the Fisherman's Wharf of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. 
There's Applebee's. Palm trees are nice to see here. So it looks like there's a streetcar on the way. The F Market Line to Fisherman's Wharf. Three, please. This Bowdoin uh, Bistro and Bakery is pretty large. They're pretty known for their bread. Here's big bus tour. If you want a double decker experience, this is where you go. And now since we're getting past this big building, the Bowdoin building, we're able to see Alcatraz Island right over there. It's best known for being the site of a penitentiary. But now is a big tourist attraction. You could take a ferry there and learn about some history. The world famous Pier 39 is coming up where all the sea lions hang out. There's also a big area there with a lot of shops and restaurants. We'll probably be able to hear them pretty soon. Might even be able to hear them now if you listen close enough. Let's cross the street here and we'll head over to Pier 39 and watch some sea lions.
gourmet hot dogs and sausage at the doghouse. I can see a large group of people already by the western end of Pier 39 viewing those sea lions. Great view of Alcatraz Island in the background as we walk to the end of this pier here to see the sea lions. I wonder how active these sea lions are now that it's sunset time. <laughs> Sounds like they're pretty active from all their barking. It's pretty entertaining to come here to observe them. Many of them are very territorial even within this pier here. And they'll knock each other off a place where they're resting and laying down.
Let's go into the Pier 39 shops and restaurants as we listen to the sound of these sea lions here having a hustle with each other. There's also the Sea Lion Center upstairs. this was actually indoors but there's an entire shopping area here fudgery fudge and fun Christmas in San Francisco there's an arcade area big carousel Turn this whole area into an amusement, a uh, mini amusement park. Bay Plunge, 12 bucks. Image Art San Francisco and Bubba Gump Shrimp here. like this California mural. Souvenir shops in here. Cones. Yeah. 
fresh sun ripened fruit. Looks like they're wrapping up for the day though. There's the restroom area, Pier 39. the Hard Rock Cafe. It should take another 30 minutes or so to get down to the ferry building from here. They have the Aquarium of the Bay right next to Pier 39 where all the sea lions are. There's a pretty big cruise ship in front of me called the Emerald Princess. This is really neat. If you didn't see enough sea lions already, you can get some more here. These unfortunately do not bark though, but they're definitely more colorful. I think along the way to the ferry building, there's a bunch of shops, depending on which pier you're at. And each one has a different view and um, vibe to it. That structure up there is the Coit Tower. It's a tourist attraction, but it's definitely a hike to get up there. 
But if you go to the top, you get some great views of San Francisco. It's actually pretty quiet here now. I would think earlier in the day there'll be more people walking around. for the San Francisco Cruise Terminal building. These palm trees are kind of neat to see. I feel that it's kind of chilly for a palm tree to thrive here, but somehow these varieties, they manage to thrive here. Pier 33, Alcatraz landing ahead. Alcatraz Landing Building. Please continue to 33, Pier 33, Alcatraz Landing for ticketing and boarding. I guess they moved down that way. Is the official Alcatraz Island uh, landing site. I don't see any pricing though. You could probably go to the official website with that QR code and find them. I like that yellow streetcar. Nice design.
here at 29 and a half Bruce parking available. Park smart, take all your belongings with you. I heard that car break-ins are pretty common here in San Francisco. Luxury at, at sea. Quite a trek to get up there to the Coit Tower. Ferry building is 20 minutes away, and the Exploratorium at Pier 15 is 8 minutes. I think I actually see the ferry building coming up. It's a nice relaxing walk in this area. There's a streetcar coming.
Here's the start of the Exploratorium at Pier 15 and 17. Looks like a pretty nice science museum. Here, 15. I think Pier 7 is supposed to be the area where there's a lot of shops and of course the ferry building itself. Oakland Bay Bridge. Locals just refer to it as the Bay Bridge and Treasure Island. I'm actually going to wait a bit because these people are playing music. I don't want to get in trouble with copyright. But let's take a look at the Bay Bridge. As they're walking ahead of me. Looks like there's a San Francisco public toilet up ahead. Wonder how hygienic that is. Or if it's pay to use. I know some places you need to pay a quarter and it sanitizes uh, before each use.
Let's see here. Up, oh, I think you do have to pay to use it. Toilets. Free access, push here. I don't want to try it. There's Pier 7. You can get a great view of Treasure Island from here. And like I said, this is where all the shops and restaurants are. This probably lights up at nighttime. Pier 5 now, not too away from the ferry building. Those old streetcars actually run quite quickly. City Cruises by Hornblower. I know they operate many of the uh, city to city um, commuting ferries. probably take ferries um, within the Bay Area here and even sightseeing tours. Ferry building is two minutes away, financial district three minutes. There's the financial district. Taxi landing. It's a shame that um, the top part of the ferry building is uh, encased in scaffolding. It'll be a nice better view without it, but I understand if they need to make renovations. Here's a great view. I think we're going to walk uh, into the ferry building and then I'll wrap up my video.
marketplace and ferries. Alright, this is the main entrance. And here's Market Street, the main street in San Francisco. Ferry building, a landmark transformed. The old pictures. Some places to eat here and hang out, although they probably all closed up for the day. I think we can end our video out here. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that long walk from Fisherman's Wharf along the Embarcadero to the San Francisco Ferry Building. I sure enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.